Hello, this is Stephen Burns from ChromeIllusion.com. Well, obviously I could not end that last tutorial on just creating the wooden cookie cutter here. We have to texture it as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm over here in Mini Bridge. Let's go ahead and select it. And I'm going to utilize two photographic surfaces here. One is our color surface and the other we're going to use as our bump map surface and this one's called the wood 006C the other one is called wood 006B um, for the bump map surface now color surfaces are pretty obvious I'm basically going to change the texture to make it look like wood the bump surface what, what uh, Photoshop is going to do is utilize the darker textures to create valleys and the lighter textures to create peaks so it's going to give a three dimensional texture surface alright let's go ahead and and minimize this and let's go ahead and replace the surface. Make sure your 3D scene panel is open. If it's not, go into your Windows menu and select 3D. That'll open it up. I have it uh, connected to my layers palette. And let's take a look at this here, our different surfaces. We have our layer one front inflation material. We have the front bevel material. So the front inflation is defining the surface or the front face of the surface. The bevel obviously is defining the bevel area and the extrusion is this thickness right on the side here. So what I like to do is apply that the color um, wood surface to the front. So select the front inflation material and this of course these are names that were designated by Reposé. We can change it. Let's double click on it and we're just going to call it top. Okay, Make it simple and in this one we're just going to name it uh, bevel double click it and call it bevel just to just to keep it simple right and we have the option to do that and extrusion we have the back and the course we can call this one the back let's go ahead and double click alright and there we are okay so this is the back end of the bevel we're not going to worry about that right now let's go to the top okay select it under the diffuse which is your color it's giving you the color that has already been designated but we want to replace this with a photographic image so select it load that texture I believe we select on the wood 00C click on open and click OK it's saying just telling us there was already a texture there and let's sit back there it is now let's do one for the bevel this is the same one for the bevel select it and load the texture get the C click open it's telling me that the texture is already there let's load it again don't ask me again and I'm gonna the bevels are not that important anyway and how about now if we get in closer you can see that it beveled that with the same texture. Let's go ahead and do the sides. Let's go to the extrusion material. All right, select it. Remember that shape there or that basically texture? We, we selected that previously in Reposé. We're going to change that now. Go ahead, load the texture. Let's go get our wood C selected there as well also. And it's going to show up on the sides. Pretty fun, isn't it? All right, so let's go to our rotation tool and look around. Let's go ahead and do the bottom. Remember the back? We're going to select the back in the 3D materials and come right over here, load the texture once again, get that wood and apply it on there. All right, looks pretty good. Now, let's go ahead and rotate this back. If we take a look at this, the surface I think I want the the grain of the wood to go uh, want to run the length of the panel or the yeah yeah more the length of the panel let's kind of bring it down so we can see the whole thing I don't like the grain going horizontally in this case I want it to go to move so it's going to move across the length of the panel and I'm going to go back to my top this is the one we're interested in now if you look right over here we have wood 00C if I turn that on or off in this case turn off the eye everything turns off if I turn it on again we get to see the result 
of that particular wood. All right, now let's double click on this. Let's take the wood and duplicate it. Command J, Command or Control T for free transform. Holding the Shift key constrains the rotation to 45 degree rotations. Hit Enter and Command or Control S. It's going to save the texture. And let's go back and take a look at our cookie cutter. Okay? And go back. There it is. Now it's moving across the length of the board. And I'm actually pretty happy with this. Now, the one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bump to the surface. So let's start with the top. Make sure it's selected. Right down here, you have the bump option. Load what? Load that wood 006B. Select it. And you're going to get a slight bumpy surface. Let Photoshop figure complete what it's doing. There it is. All right. Now, if you remember, the surface is moving actually horizontal to the board. We need to go and edit that as well under the bump and all of, a, all of a sudden it shows up let's go double click on the texture command J command T command or control T rotate this around just as we did before enter command S and let's go back to our cookie cutter sheet and there it is okay very very good all right, so now it's matching up. All right, one last thing I'm going to do. Let's go and play with the lights here. Go to our light. Let's select this one here. And let's go to the light rotation tool. And let's see if we can get a different there. Let's kind of rotate the lights around a little bit. In fact, let's turn off this one on the bottom. And so we can get a much more of a dynamic look. I'm going to sit back and relax and watch it turn off. So after turning off the bottom, select the very top one, and once again, making sure your rota light rotational tool is selected, click and hold, and we can drag it, and we can see the effects. As the lighting is coming from the side, we can see the effect of that bump texture map there. Okay. All right. So I hope you enjoy that. And if you are, want to get a little bit more idea as to who I am, please go to chromeillusion.com and also please make sure you take a look at the books and DVDs um, that I'm involved with. This is the latest one. Right up here is the Photoshop CS5 Trickery and Effects. It will be hitting the market within the next week or so. Bookstar, Amazon, Borders, and so forth. Okay, so uh, once again, I'm Stephen Burns and I look forward to bring you more tutorials on the art of 3D in Photoshop CS5.